and the other screw. It's, it's a bit of a tight fit. Yeah. Mounted on battery box. We're going to put another air hole in this battery box too. Beautiful. There she is. There she is. Rightio. Skin them wires. Both at the same time. Both. Put some solder on there. Well, that brings down fast. I actually can't see. Right there, take it off. There you go. Good enough. Right here, we're going to mount these two auto excess charges from Aldi, one for each battery, because I'm running a 70 pound Minn Kota with two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. So I've decided to mount these on top, and we're going to wire them onto each battery. We're going to mount a kill switch between the two batteries. I should be able to flick that off and then turn the two chargers on and uh, start charging our batteries after each fishing trip. I'm going to get my young bloke to hook it all up. Screw her in. My way. Towards the camera. trick is put a bit of pressure on it and screw it up tight right here there's our kill switch on off Now, no sparks. One charger on. When I get home from fishing, turn the kill switch off. Plug the chargers in. These chargers, when you turn them on, they just go to voltmeter, or it could go bang. It shouldn't because of the kill switch here. 12.9 volts already. This one's 12.9. Flick it over to car mode. Start doing its thing. Both batteries are charging. How quick was that? Flick that off, plug them in, turn the power point on, flip the mode button. IP65, these chargers claim to be. So if it rains, they should be able to handle it. it says you can spray them with water. $29 each, three year warranty. It's well worth the experiment.